Hey there, how's it going? So the time has finally come to make this video. And this is gonna be kind of one of two videos I'm gonna make here about the money I earn on YouTube. Yes, of course, if you haven't seen it, I did finally get the channel monetized. So we're making money here on the FOMO Cobro YouTube channel, which is great. And to my surprise, I'm actually making a little bit more than I thought I would starting off. So that's pretty cool, and that's kind of the whole point of this video, is to show, uh, you know, exactly what people can expect when starting their YouTube channel. You know, if you go on YouTube or whatever, and you type in how much money can you earn YouTube, you know, you get just uh, a thousand different answers for it. But no one really tells you what you can expect, you know, on an average YouTube channel, to start usually you got all of these like really skilled you know content creators or um, online marketers or something and they you know they've done this time or two you know maybe they have a blog or whatever and they know exactly what to do to make money you know they're not just learning and then getting their uh, channel monetized they're usually people who've already done it multiple times so you know, their answers are maybe a lot more optimistic, I would say, than someone, than the answer that's gonna come from someone like me. So for this video, I wanna show exactly how much my channel made in the first week of being monetized. The channel was approved for the partnership program. It was like the second or third week of June. I think it was, yeah, third week, beginning of the third week. And, uh, you know, I was ecstatic. I was so happy uh, to get to that point because it, it, it's tough. And I actually worked really hard to get my channel monetized um, fairly quickly. Actually, you know, statistically, it takes about two years for the average YouTube channel to meet the requirements, uh, you know, for the partnership program. But I pushed pretty hard and got it done in half the time. You know, just actually a little over a year's time it took to get my channel um, to enough subscribers to be able to do it. I had the watch time months ago, uh, but of course the subscribers is kind of hard to get and to do it and to do it organically, you know, to do it the way YouTube wants you to do it, not paying for them, but earning them. It's a little tricky, you know, you got to figure some things out. It's a lot of trial and error and stuff, but regardless, I was able to get the channel monetized. And uh, with that, it took about a couple days to set up the AdSense account. And then uh, it takes like, I don't know, like 48 hours or something like that for the AdSense account to actually, you know, become active and then post, um, you know, your revenue. And the thing is, your revenue is actually delayed by one day, what you're able to see. So if I were to check my revenue today, it's actually for what I earned yesterday. And see, a lot of other YouTubers also will show you, you know, their revenue based off what they earn on a video. Now, if you're a really popular YouTuber or something you've been around, you know, and you're making videos and earning millions of views, yeah, your revenue per video is probably going to be pretty high. See, starting out, my revenue per video is not much. So what really makes more sense is actually how much those videos accumulate in revenue over a span of a week in this video's case. So the first day that my YouTube account actually posted revenue was June 19th. So as you can see here, this is a screenshot of my you know analytics page on my YouTube account for FOMO Cobro, and you can see that on June 19th, my first earnings was actually pretty good. It was like $4 and change, and uh, that's not bad. But for the whole week, from June 19th to what, it was like June 25th, I earned $28.27. It's actually not too bad. And honestly, that was that's actually a lot more than I was expecting to make um, starting out. Uh, you know, I generally never like to get myself too excited over things because reality is usually a lot, uh, a lot less nice to you than your expectations. So, you know, I actually set the bar pretty low for myself, which actually made it better for me because I was pleasantly surprised with the amount of income I earned 
there for the first week revenue generated from my channel. Now, if you look at another stat right here, now this is the, the RPM, you know, revenue per mile or whatever um, stat that you can look up. And this is basically saying how much in that week's time, how much I was earning per thousand views. Now, this is the number that really surprises me and something you don't really see um, when you go and look at information, you know, you're trying to figure out how much you can make on YouTube because the, the answers are usually very general. And the answers I would get when asking how much you can make per YouTube, generally the figure they give you is between three and five dollars for every thousand views, like generally speaking. So I could see where that would still make sense because you know there's a lot of factors that go into um, this number. But when you think about it, you know you can easily calculate how much money you can expect based off this number. And if this number stays around seven dollars, I mean you got to think for a hundred thousand views, that's seven hundred dollars. So that's a pretty important statistic to look at when when trying to you know get a figure in your head of what you can expect to make from YouTube. Even if you're already monetized and you're trying to plan, you know, your next set of videos and how much you think you can get per video, you know, you trying to set up what you're expected to make your expectations. You know, that's a that's an important number to know. But let me tell you that number does vary. So each week that number or each span of time that number changes depending on, you know, a multiple, you know, multiple reasons. A lot of it is all variable. None of it's set in stone for, for one single person. So my videos are always gonna be different from your videos, from the next person's videos in terms of what they make. But I still thought it was pretty interesting that, you know, it was a lot higher of a number than what I was told by other YouTubers or just if you Google it, usually, like I said, you see three to five dollars per thousand views. That's what they tell you you can make but I was actually more than that. So it's pretty cool. This is what you can realistically expect on YouTube. Now, the thing is my channel um, on, a, on a 48 hour period generates about a thousand plus views average. So I have a lot of videos that um, are constantly getting views because they're usually videos that people are searching for in terms of information. A lot of the SHO videos are always getting views every day. Um, so a lot of that goes into that number. Most of my revenue actually comes from them videos. My latest videos don't really earn me too much at the moment. It's the videos that have this lasting appeal on YouTube that are earning money constantly. Every day they're generating money. People are searching for you know, certain things about an SHO, and I made a lot of content, you know, a lot of unique content with the SHO that you're not gonna find anywhere else. So that does help me out with this number. Like I said, this varies from every YouTube channel. But I think realistically, a thousand views every 48 hours is 100% to be expected for someone who actually does try on YouTube. You know, if you're just posting random videos here and there, you know, hoping to get likes, then you're probably not going to do it. But if you're actually really trying to make a presence on YouTube and you're, and you're doing a lot of actual professional, you know, strategies and stuff to earn views, then this is more than likely what you can expect, if not more. See, I would love to double my views. If I can earn a thousand views per 24 hour period, that would be great. That's actually my next goal is to do that because what that means is per 20 per day practically I'm going to get paid somewhere around five to seven dollars per day rather than every two days. So right now it's about three dollars per day. So it's half of what I could make. So I would essentially be doubling my revenue by doubling my views. So hopefully this gives you some insight to what you can realistically expect as soon as you get your channel going. And it should hopefully be inspirational for those pushing to get their channel started, especially an automotive YouTube channel. Because this is a very, very saturated <laughs> segment of YouTube. And there are many massive YouTubers in this segment. So 
you know, don't get discouraged. Just keep trying and just keep trying to, you know, do what you can to get it going. You'll get it there. You just got to keep trying. You know, there were definitely a lot of times in my endeavor here that I just want to stop because I thought I was wasting my time. And while I'm still not making a whole lot of money, it's a lot more than I was making. Um, and actually here soon, uh, I'll be earning enough money on YouTube to buy my first part for the cars with YouTube money. So that is going to be really cool. And the next video you can expect um, about my YouTube revenue is how much I made in one month. So once the month of July completes, I will make a video following up on the revenue I generated through one whole month of, on YouTube, my first full month. So I think that would be a really cool video, more insight to realistic expectations of earning money on YouTube when starting out. But that will be it for this video. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. And if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and keep a lookout for the next true Ford enthusiast video.